Welcome back. Time for Kara's Cares from being cancer to losing more than 100 pounds with the help of weight loss drugs, battling lupus and more. Our next guest is certainly no stranger to Connecticut. Christine Lee of WTIC 96.5 in the morning is here to talk to us about how she overcame and is still battling health challenges every day with a smile. Yes. You've got a beautiful smile. Thank you. How are you, Christine? I'm good. I'm really good, actually. It's, it's good to see you. It's good to see you guys, too. It, you know, people might remember when you revealed you had cancer sometime ago and then of course you were in remission which is amazing and then I just want to fast forward to now because the reason I wanted to be on is you're so inspiring you really just like the obstacles keep coming and then you keep smiling and rising and teaching others about what you're going through so is that intentional that you're like I'm gonna just use all these battles and I want to at least be able to help other people while I go through them I feel like you can either give up sit down on the curb and start crying which you know okay have a pity party for a minute but but then you got to keep on like you you don't know how strong you are until strong is your only option mm -hmm. right that mm -hmm. famous saying phrase and you just keep going we got a little TikTok uh, yes. video can we uh, yeah. set it up for us so um, I was in remission but and I'm going through menopause so some of those symptoms mirror B cell non Hodgkin's lymphoma so I didn't and I go every three months to my oncologist so we we're just like you know blood works fine but I went to go see my hygienist Nicole at Cromwell Dental and she felt something and it turned out to be the cancer's back and so a month ago by and I wanted to let her know the update and I just made a little video and it went viral. Well, like five million videos yes. on TikTok. Let's take, a, take look. a look. Hi. Hi, I'm recording. Why? Because I came by to tell you something. What? That because of your last cleaning, you found a lump, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's lymphoma. It's back. And because of you, they found it. So thank you. I had to come thank you. Thank you. I've been thinking about you. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Oh. Isn't she sweet? Did so they clean your teeth, by the way? Well, you want to know something? <laughs> well, it was a cleaning and she's like, felt it. She goes, we're stopping the cleaning. And that sentence was like a hug because I knew that she cared so much. She said, oh. we're stopping the cleaning right now and we're gonna go do a panoramic x-ray. Oh my God, that wow. is remarkable. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's why, so important. Another lesson of just, we gotta get our dental care because it's more than just having yeah, clean teeth. Absolutely. I just gotta say, dental hygienists yeah. are way more than people who clean your teeth. Yep. They are frontline healthcare workers. Your mouth is the gateway to the rest of your body and they can tell what's going on with your health just by looking in your wow. mouth. Don't skip your dental cleaning. Kara was alluding to the fact that this is not your first rodeo. Give yeah. us a timeline in the life of Christine Lee and everything you've been through. 2020 diagnosed with B cell non Hodgkin's lymphoma 2021 into remission but um, I was diagnosed with lupus several years before that so it's been a bumpy ride and so many of those symptoms what I'm dealing with mimic each other so sometimes it's hard to tell mm. and then you add menopause into the mix <laughs> hot flashes so it's important to Go to your doctor, stay on top of everything because it, it does get into the weeds a little bit. Well, the other thing is you've been very open about losing 100 pounds with the help of weight loss drugs. Can you share what you're on and also the current struggle you're having because so many people are taking them now? Yeah, I, I have to say that GLP-1s are a godsend, a game changer. I have... Um, a binge eating disorder. So for someone like me, um, you know, the AMA designated um, obesity a, a disease in 2013, and it really is helping people get the help they need. So um, yeah, 100 pounds down, but it's you hard to before and after. It's right hard, there. yeah. It's hard to get um, Zet bound, which is what I'm on now. It's but been I, on back order forever. I like what you're you're smiling in 2019 too, <laughs> despite you know the fact that you probably didn't, you might not have. I did not want to be at that event that. Day. I didn't like right. the way you I might not have wanted was, to be at that event. Yeah, yeah, and so um, you put on a smile, which is gotta, so cool. You gotta because you know if you um, move your body, you move your mind. Like you, even if you move your mouth. Like, you also wanted to thank your your husband and your children. Oh yeah, they're always like a, a pain in my rear end. Like, exactly. They're very supportive. Don't <laughs> they, worry, George is a pain in our rear end. We love George you, George. George, George works here. here at Channel Three. <laughs> they bring me to my chemotherapy. Like you know, it's, everything. It's awesome. So uh, we're gonna be out of time, but I want to let everyone know that you're gonna be coming on the Kara's Cure Show, which also drops as a podcast. Uh, it'll be up by the time you're watching this, and. Um, 
you can listen because we're going to go through your journey, but also the lessons of resilience and your wisdom for other people because uh, uh, you've been through so many things. So thank I, you I'm so much. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming on. Continued success. Thank you. If you need anything, we're here. You oh, yeah? Know. Yeah. Anything? Well, I, don't have, <laughs> I have $10 I can give you, but that's about it. No, come on. I know about your bank account. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Great day at 3. We so appreciate it. In our 18th season. Yes, Eyewitnesses at 4 is next. Stay with me.